Now, Kenya's emerging middle class constitutes over 40% of the total population and is boosting the country's economy through increased consumption. One of the areas that this group is spending on is on car purchases. Laban Cliff on Serio takes a look at the industry's performance. In the past five years, the purchase of new cars has been on an upward trend, recording sales of over 12,000 vehicles annually. This is on the back of an economic growth the country has seen and the rise of disposable income among the affluent middle class. What a lot of the new players are looking at is they're looking at the growth that's expected uh, in, uh, in the industry over the next few years, where more new cars will be purchased vis-a-vis -vis the used cars, which is the dominant player in the market right now. Uh, if I was to tell you that 15% uh, of the market is new cars or new vehicles, and 85% are used. Despite the slow uptake of new cars, Kenya has attracted entrance into the market with France-based Peugeot announcing a 1 billion shilling investment and Japanese auto dealer pumping over $300 million in its Kenya operations through Transafrica Motors after closing its operations for over seven years. There's a lot of opportunity There's a, 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 after we just concluded a peaceful election. We believe that uh, there is a very big potential in our country. Uh, the, uh, the economy uh, is not only for Kenya, it's for East African countries. And we're looking at, uh, at a very big market uh, and there's a very big potential. And this shows confidence in Honda coming to Kenya that uh, we have a lot of confidence in the country. The spending pattern of Kenya's rising middle class has caught the eye of luxury car dealers, opening the market to top-of-the-range cars such as BMW, Chrysler and JLR top brands such as Jaguar and Land Rover. I certainly believe that the opportunity for Kenyans to buy a new car is going to be greater with better packaging and pricing and suitability of those vehicles for this road. A lot of these second-hand cars uh, were sold in the UK or Japan, and our road conditions are somewhat challenging, let's put it that way. So buying a car in Kenya built for our conditions has got to be peace of mind motoring. So the balance between purchase of second-hand cars and new cars will not drastically change, but I believe that there will be a percentage of people that have settled for second-hand cars uh, that will now start looking at our offerings because they're priced better. Central Bank's latest review to reduce its key lending rate by 100 basis points to 8.5% is set to ignite the economy. The anticipated affordable loan is expected to fuel demand for new cars. How are dealers positioning themselves to take up on these opportunity? It's, it's so exciting in many ways and there's so much potential. And each manufacturer, each brand has its, has its wins. You know, they have certain product uh, which they um, lead in. We are, uh, we are leaders in the utility field, in the SUV field. And we have a product which is suitable for Kenya. It's been proven over the years. So it's not really a threat. Um, it's, there's enough on the plate for everybody to have a meal from. Uh, I think if you look at demographics, if you look at the economies, then the potential is immense. Yeah? But regulation is holding it down a little bit. However, any, any uh, new uh, brand coming to the market is good for the market because it gives choice to the, to the, to the public. Since Kenya imports less than 10,000 new cars annually, Industry players are calling on the government for a change in policy which seems to support the sale of second-hand cars. The government needs to help us there. The government needs to allow us to, to bring in the volume that we need. And the only way the volume will come is by them reducing the number of used cars uh, that they sell in, this, in, the, in the country. Now we have a catch-22. We have transport needs where people need cars at a reasonable price and we need volume on the, on the new car side. So I think government needs to sit with us and engage with KMI and with, with KM uh, and see if there's a formula that we come with where we create more jobs, we create an affordable transport solution, yeah, and we also do something that uh, will help the economy. With increased vehicle assembly investments, employment opportunities are also expected to rise. We hope to increase that one. On a motorcycle, definitely, because of the assembling, it will create a very big number. But at the moment, I'm only concentrating on the automobile uh, division, which we already created more than 20 to 25 uh, jobs. And we hope to increase as the market uh, uh, goes. Importation of new cars is projected to be valued at well over 100 million shillings. 
Though below the industry target, a review on Kenya's government policy to support the sale of new cars is encouraged so as to fuel economic growth. The Kenya um, economic condition is prospering very, very rapidly. Um, Kenyans are ambitious, they're hardworking. Um, we're one of the most IT literate uh, countries in, on the African continent. Um, and what comes with this is um, a lot of people, with, uh, I mean, there's a love for cars in this country, that's clear. You look out on the streets and you'll see so much, so much new product. Um, but mainly it's second-hand product brought into the country, uh, privately imported or imported by second-hand dealers. Um, and there's a market for that. But we believe that there are Kenyans out there that would love to purchase a brand new car in Kenya from a trading company in Kenya with full backup, full warranty, service plan included, and good value for, for money. Things are changing, okay? Kenya has really transformed itself. And with that transformation, other East African countries will follow suit, right? And the market is going to open. And we talked about oil and gas at one stage, that oil and gas is going to be a big player, so the economies will grow. As they grow, uh, the middle class will grow. And as the middle class grows, they want more choices. They want to drive the cars that they see when they travel overseas, right? So when you look at our BMW brand, when we started, uh, it was very small. It's growing, but it's growing slowly. But what people want is now more choice, okay? And they want the latest models.